Hello everyone. Welcome to GrowMed. Welcome back to another funful session of discussing one important topic for the upcoming FMG and it is the breast, so the benign tumors of the breast. So in this video, we will look at the important points as well as the previous year questions which are asked from this benign tumors. So the motive of this video is to keep it short and uh, quick review so that you will watch these videos in your free time like it will be a 10 to 15 minutes video so if it is long videos lengthy videos then it will be tiring and dekhne mein maza bhi nahi aata to isiliye the motive is to keep it short and quick recall so that it will help you all in your last minute revision as well as you can watch these videos in your free time or break time also so there are few important breast tumors which are benign and which are frequently asked in the fmg so let's look at them first one is the breast disease a patchett's disease of the nipple so the name itself says that it is the disease of the nipple so what will happens in this is the chronic eczematous eruption of the nipple so a pyq one liner was asked on this and this is associated with the dcis that is the ductal carcinoma in situ and also invasive ductal cancer See, if this nipple is involved, then we can assume that the patient might be having some other underlying disease like the ductal cancer or the invasive ductal cancer. Then an important marker associated with this is the CAA positive and investigation we will be doing the multi complete mammography and the biopsy and treatment is the simple mastectomy. Okay, so this is the important things which you must remember from the nipple disease and this was a PYQ. Then moving on to the phylloids tumor. So this tumor is also known as uh, cystosarcoma phylloids because uh, if we break the name, we can easily come to know. So cystic means cysto means cystic areas. So it will be having the cystic like areas then on cross section examination. Then uh, sarcoma means hematogenous spread. So whenever there is uh, any tumor with the name sarcoma, then you can get an idea that there is a hematological spread present due to which it has been given a name of this sarcoma. Then moving on to the phylloids. So phylloids means leaf like appearance on the cut section. So you can see here, this is a cut section and you can see a multiple posillated appearance leaf like structures. So this can be given as an image. So you need to remember this image. Then uh, these cystic areas, these are present because of the hemorrhage and the necrosis and hematogenous spread. The most common site is the lungs. Then moving on to the origin, so it has dual origin, mammary epithelium and the connective tissue. Then clinical features which will be described in a clinical case if a question is given on the case. So you need to remember these clinical features and then uh, imply these things in the question and rule out the options, match the option and then choose the correct answer. So the clinical features will be the massively enlarged breast, then pressure or atrophy. Uh, pressure atrophy or necrosis of the skin because of the enlargement so you can see here that the breast has enlarged crossly and it is not matching with the another breast so opposite breast se match nahi kar raha hai so this uh, appearance is seen with this and uh, it gives a bosilated appearance and nipple skin chest wall these things are not involved in case of the phylloid tumor so this is also important because uh, this can be described in the case which will help you to find out that it is a phylloid tumor. Then uh, treatment options. So if it is benign, then we will be doing wide local excision with 2 cm margin. And if it is borderline or malignant, then we will be doing simple mastectomy. So these are the treatment options available for this phylloid tumor. Then moving on to the fibroadenoma. So this is a benign and uh, stromal origin. And this fibroadenoma, I think almost everyone now you will be knowing about this and you have also been solved many pyqs related to this so the clinical cases will be described so we'll discuss those also later how the case will appear in front of you the benign and stromal origin so it is most commonly seen in the young females of age 15 to 30 years clinical features is the lump breast lump and this breast lump will be mobile so it is called as a breast mouse then investigation of choice is the FNAC so this you need to remember and uh, what we can see is tightly arranged ductal epithelial cells with bare nuclei so no need to remember this thing just need to remember that FNAC is the investigation of 
choice then mammography on mammography we can see popcorn calcification as you can see here so this is an image of a mammography done and uh, this image you can see that a popcorn like calcification is present in the breast image based question can be asked then treatment is the observation and the surgical excision to indications for the surgery to come cup surgery karenge if the size is more than 3 cm if it is multiple gen type recurrence is present cosmetic surgery and uh, complex type so if these things are present then we will be doing the surgical excision and when we will be doing the observation if the size is less than 3 cm and there is no increase in the size for 6 months 6 months tak agar size same hi raha hai then we will be going with the observation then if the size increases day by day or koi aur changes humko milegi then we will be going with the surgical excision so these are the things from the fibroadenoma which you must remember asked multiple time a must know topic then breast abscess so this is most commonly seen in the lactative female mostly the preemie gravida to breast abscess ka to pata hi hai matlab ki abscess ho gaya hai breast mein abscess means uh, we all know that clear fluid type ka rahega and uh, the most common cause is the staph aureus the clinical features pain and tenderness of the breast fever चिल्स राइगर देखो ये सारी चीज़ें इसीलिए हो रही है क्योंकि इट इज़ एन इन्फेक्शन राइट तो बैक्टेरियल इन्फेक्शन की वजह से ये सारी चीज़ें तो कॉमन रहेंगे सब डिसीजेज में जब भी इन्फेक्शन होगा ये हमको देखने को मिलेगा देन ब्रेस्ट इज एंग्रोच एंड स्किन एरिदीमा तो एरिदीमा इज सीन ऑन द स्किन एंड द स्किन कैन बी समटाइम्स डिस्क्राइब एज वॉम स्किन देन ट्रीटमेंट इज द इंसिजन एंड ड्रेनेज विच इज़ द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस एंड antibiotics we will be giving uh, chloroxylin and dicloxylin for 14 days there is another term for this the zuskas disease so this definition is recurrent breast abscess so these are the things which you must remember from the benign tumors of the breast then let's quickly discuss how the clinical case will appear in the exam so a young female 14 to 30 years will be given in the question sometimes you know 20 years bhi de sakte 20 25 years 30 years tak and breast lump is there and the breast lump is mobile it is called as a breast mouse so they can describe this thing also in the case and it is regular in shape so now we have come to the diagnosis that it will be a fibroadenoma quite simple right breast lump and it is mobile and regular in shape and young female so ye char cheeze rakh lena and if at all these things are given in the case then go with the fibroadenoma and if image based question is given it will help you and you shall be getting the correct answer then lactating female pain tenderness not able to feed the baby and the skin is warm warm skin of the breast so we have discussed this one also that it will be the breast abscess lactating female then these features so it is the breast abscess and treatment incision and drainage simple right this one is also quite simple then moving on to another case breast lump is present then hard and irregular not fixed to the chest gives a bosilarial appearance and gross asymmetry so we have already discussed about this and it one is the phylloids tumor so easy right see if you break the terms and if you uh, read the case carefully and find this hint word hint given in the question then you will be easily able to solve the question uh, these are the main things which you must search for in the clinical case so generally the clinical case will be described like a female comes to the clinic ya fir opd with the complaints of so and so so and so so what will be the diagnosis to ye sari cheeze jo hai common rahengi you need to uh, look at the hints that will be given in the question and by this you'll be easily able to crack these questions so this was a quick review of the breast benign tumors of the breast which you must know for the fmg i hope this video will help you in your revision and also it will help you in your preparation for the exam thank you so much guys for watching this video like the video share it with your friends and if you're new to gromed subscribe to gromed tap the bell icon so that you do not miss any important points related to the fmg thank you so much guys bye bye